Still busy across the virus and prophecy. Uh, don't mind the, the, the music in the back or the sound in the background. As you can see, I'm watching... Uh, so you can see I'm watching college football right here. Uh, it's Florida State versus Georgia Tech. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, oh, 49ers plays wide receiver Debo Samuel on, on IR. Oh, that's a tough blow. Who's going to step up for, um, for, uh, for Jimmy Garoppolo? But anyways, um, I was, I was watching first take, no, I was watching that first take, I was watching, um, Undisputed Friday since, you know, they only go on the air Monday through Friday. Uh, I was watching the, um, I was watching first, I was watching Undisputed Friday, and here we go again, um, they're continuing, they're continuing to compare Tom Brady to Michael Jordan. Now, obviously, Michael Jordan did that to gain. The only reason why Michael Jordan finished his last years with the Wizards was to gain uh, partnership, was to gain ownership of the Hornets. That's the only way that he could have, that's the only way Michael Jordan could have gained, you know, um, leadership and ownership, some owner, some part of ownership to the, um, obviously, to the, um, to the Hornets, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But Tom Brady, Tom Brady is only going into his, what, 18th, 17th season? Michael Jordan was, that year, around 2004, I believe, Michael Jordan was already on his last legs, retiring. You know, after that, he obviously retired. Tom Brady is in his 18th or 17th year. He only had, he has two years left on his deal, right? So why would you, why, like, why would you even compare, why would you even compare that, 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 you know, like, that don't make no sense at all, you know? You got one person, you got one player that's, you know, entering a new team. Okay, I get that. He has two years left on his deal. I get that. But we have another player who was way past his prime on the team because he wanted part he wanted some ownership partnership with the Hornets. That's the only way that's the only reason like I said, that's the only reason why Michael Jordan agreed to play as long as he did, you know what I'm saying? He played he played up until he was, you know, 42. You know what I'm saying? And after that, he retired. And after that, you know, he gained, you know, partnership and ownership of the of the Hornets. That's why when you watch the Hornets, he's sometimes up in the bleachers, he's sometimes in the skybox, or he's sometimes down on the, you know, like in the back of the bench, you know what I'm saying? Watching his team. Tom Brady doesn't own a team, and he never will. You know, he's going to, Tom Brady, I feel like when his contract is up, he probably might go somewhere else, or he probably might call it quits and retire and, you know, spend some time with his, you know, wife and kids and stuff like that, you know? Because I don't think Tom Brady's the type of dude to be behind the desk talking, you know? Be an analyst, you know what I'm saying? Even Tom Brady, even they offered Tom Brady, I mean, not Tom Brady, Tom um, Peyton Manning that. He declined, you know? So, sometimes, you know, being an analyst and being a player is two, two totally different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've seen how, how, how Jason Witten was just god-awful on the mic when he was, you know, doing commentary on Monday night. Tony Romo, same thing. You know, Tony Romo, he he actually, he doesn't necessarily do commentary. He's kind of like a, you know, a, a, a wizard. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he'll, he'll tell you to play. He'll tell you to play before it happens. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're on defense, same thing. Like, oh, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Like, he'll, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's no Chardamus. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows stuff before it's going to happen because obviously he's played 
longer, so he's known every you know scheme in the playbook, defensively and offensively. So um, I don't see Tom Brady doing that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see Tom Brady. Or I don't see Tom Brady owning a uh, 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 NFL team or being half owner to an NFL team because you can only be one owner. You know, there's no 50-50 split. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's just stupid. It's just a stupid comparison. Again, you know, comparing basketball to football, like, you, like, <sighs> but tell me what y'all think, though. Is it wrong to compare basketball players to football players? You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we're doing. You know, this is what has this is what sports have come to. This is why nobody takes sports seriously no more. You know? Like I say, hell with it. Give the Cowboys the Super Bowl. Like we wanna be mad like would the world be mad if the Cowboys win another Super Bowl? No. They'll be gloating for the next five months, six months, whatever have you, but it wouldn't it wouldn't shock me at all, you know, if the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. The Eagles won the Super Bowl. Nobody talked about that that much. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to come down to, you know, sports is going to be watered down so much that, you know, people are not even going to be paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other day, I went to, like, a party, and, you know, I was basically, you know, asking kids and stuff like that, who's your favorite football team? They didn't even say the team. They just said the player's name. They said, oh, I like Odell. Who do who? Who does Odell play for? You know, I ask kids, I ask teenagers, I even ask people my age. And they all said the same thing. Like, sports is watered down to the point where it's not even fun no more to be a fan. It was when Michael Jordan was playing. Like, if you look at the difference between 90s fans and 80s and, and today's fans, way different. You know, 90s fans, they appreciate it. They put a lot of passion you know what I'm saying? They wasn't bandwagons. They wasn't dick riders. N now it's, you know, oh, my team sucks. Man, I mean, my team is never going to win anything. Man, I'm just going to switch. It don't matter what sport. Like me, I'm a New York Knicks fan. I've been a Knicks fan since 2000, right? I'm still a Knicks fan to this day. Even though a lot of highs, a lot of lows... Still a fan, you know, because obviously New York or the Knicks was the only team. It's not like if I had to choose either the Nets or the Knicks, obviously the Nets at the time played in New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like I had a choice, you know. I wasn't from New Jersey, even though I lived there for two years, vastly different, you know, um, but... I only lived there for two years. I lived to, I, I lived in New York all my childhood. You know what I'm saying? And, and obviously, I came down here to Florida when I was 13 years old. So, um, But still, I'm 28 right now. So, you know, I've been a Knicks fan all my life. So, it's not like I'm going to, you know, if they whiff this year or if they do pretty good this year or if they, even if they do bad this year, I'm still going to ride and die with them because that's my team. As as for the Giants, I mean, I've been back and forth. Like, should I give this Giants team a chance? You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, I, I, I still don't think that Dave Yettleman knows what he's doing. I think we need, like, a fresh young GM in there, a fresh young mindset. You know what I'm saying? The coach can stay because, obviously, like I said in my other video, if the coach, if, if if Joe Judge whiffs on this on this season, it's not going to be his fault. They're going to give him a pass. But the, all the direction, all the pointing fingers going to go at who? Dave Gettleman. Because Dave Gettleman has been there since, what, 2000 and what, 15, 16, 17? So they're going to put all the fingers at him if, if, they, if this Giants team continue to struggle. And I said this from the beginning when they hired him. I did not like Dave Gettleman. I didn't because he got rid of Steve Smith, who should have probably retired his his jersey. 
know what I'm saying? He got rid of, you know, John Beeson. He got rid of, you know, Josh Norman. You know what I'm saying? Um, he hit the home run. He hit a home run when, um, he hit the home run when he drafted Chris, uh, Tris, uh, Christian McCaffrey, you know, uh, you know, he drafted Cam Newton, which a lot of people think he had no ties with Cam Newton, but still, he made it work, you know, they went 15-1, they made it to the Super Bowl, even though they lost, it was a great, you know, effort by him for, you know, doing all those things, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, like for the Giants, he got Saquon Barkley, you know what I'm saying, but Anyways, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I mean, ESPN just need to stop with these NBA and NFL comparisons. You know, like what they're gonna compare to next. You know, like they're gonna pay. They're gonna compare Russell Wilson's, you know, career to to Dwayne Wade's career. You know, like stuff like stupid stuff like that. Or they're gonna compare. They're gonna compare. The Miami Heat run against the 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 the, the, the Seahawks the Seahawks run. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just stupid stuff you don't really talk about. But then again, that's what happens when people are not interested in sports. Like they wasn't talking like like picture this. Like picture this. They wasn't talking like this when Michael Jordan was playing. They really wasn't. Why is it now that they're talking about things that have nothing to do with what they're talking about? And then everybody gets mad. Y'all should get mad because y'all not putting effort into these teams. Y'all not putting effort into, into you know, anything these days. So what they do is, oh, okay, half of, like, probably, like, say, like, 70% of Americans are not into sports right now. They're more into music making money, whatever have you. And it's true. If you look at the landscape, music-wise, it's, it's popping. You know, a lot of people are, are going into, you know, the music business. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these people are trying to be rappers. I'm not trying to knock on them. But you look for sports, sports is up and down, up and down, up and down. Teams are trading. Or, or like, not teams, but fans are just, you know... You know, switching teams back and forth. Like, there's no real sports fans no more. You know, the sports fans of the 90s, 80s, they all, they all deceased. You know, they dinosaur bones right now. You know what I'm saying? We in a new generation where if, say, you know, you're, you're a Nets fan and a Nets fan has been struggling for years, you got Kyrie, you got KD, and it's still not enough. And they get bounced out in the semifinals. In the Eastern Conference Finals, then what? You're gonna bandwagon to a team that's hot and that's on the verge to win a championship, and so they're just writing it out. Just saying. So like, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you think. Like I said, Tom Brady. You know, you know Tom Brady versus you know Michael Jordan's you know later career. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.